Drones are a great tool for getting aerial footage of a project. Here's some recent footage I took. If you have a drone, you've probably had a few close calls with branches, trees, um, other things in, in the way. Uh, here's some footage of me crashing my drone. The result of this crash was two broken propellers and some damage to the body, which I'm going to try to repair. Okay, so here's my drone. And as you can see, I'm missing two caps on this side. Um, and I'm missing two propellers. So I want to go in and fix the propellers and put those caps on and hopefully I can get this going again. Um, I've ordered some parts here, some replacement parts. I'm hoping I can get these to go. These are the, the covers for underneath and these are some propellers. So the most important thing to do when you're looking at the propellers is to see which of these propellers have this white marking here. There's a circle and also a white marking at the base. Those are gonna need a certain type of propeller and the other ones are gonna need uh, the other type. Looks like I'll need one of each in this case. Um, the, the white marking that I'm talking about is the white circle here. Um, and I believe because this is uh, maybe off brand, it's not exactly the same. And then this other one you'll see doesn't have that white circle and that will go on the other propeller. And this one doesn't have a white circle either. So um, the way we'll install this is we need to push it down and then rotate it counterclockwise to tighten it. Uh, so push it down into the space and then rotate it until it clicks in. It's pretty secure. And we'll do the same thing on this side. Uh, find the little um, hole where these, these pieces can go in. And oh, it looks like this one you rotate clockwise. So I think um, these propellers uh, spin in opposite directions. So um, you'll just need to find which way to turn it in, um, turn it around. Actually, before I work on the other side, maybe I'll swap out these old uh, propellers too because they've got a little bit of wear and tear on them and um, it just might be easier if they're all the same. So again, what I'll do is I'll press down and depending on which propeller it is, I'll turn either clockwise or counterclockwise. In this case, it's um, clockwise so for the ones without the uh, white marking. Um, and then to put this back in, I'll find the, the open space, um, put it down, push, and now counterclockwise to install it. Um, so th this is the one that's marked with a white circle. So I'll push down and turn counterclockwise. And then to install it, I'll push down and turn clockwise. And I want to make sure that that just locks in. So when I feel it, um, click, oops, it's still not in there. So one thing I noticed is that there's a piece of the propeller blade or the attachment stuck in here. And that's why I wasn't able to uh, push this in. So you definitely want to, after a crash, make sure all the pieces are out. I might need to fish this out with a toothpick or something. Here's uh, me trying to get this out with a toothpick. There we go. So I'll take that new piece and now there should, um, I should be able to install this without much fuss. Okay, there it's locked into place. Let's work on the other side. So what we're gonna do here, uh, we'll need a cap, which in this case, we actually have one already. Um, so I might be able to just pop one of these things in. Um, you can see. Yeah, and that one is, is going to go fine. Looks like I don't really need the base here. Um, the base is already on there, uh, so I'm just going to pop this one in. So I just pop that piece in there and hopefully this is ready to fly. So now I've installed new propellers on all four sides. Um, I've put the 
um, caps on underneath. Uh, I also did super glue or crazy glue this um, this piece. It was actually broken off, and you might be able to see a little bit of uh, a line there. I I went over it a few times, so hopefully that's going to be strong enough. Um, it, it looks like they do sell replacement bodies, um, but that seems like a more complex installation. So I'm hoping that this uh, quick fix will work. Um, and it seems pretty sturdy, but um, only time will tell. And here's some footage I took from the drone after I uh, made those repairs, and you can see that it's operational again. Um, Thankfully, I was able to salvage the drone and, and hopefully use it for some future uh, projects.